Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Sharon Renee. What's up? Um, so this is going to be a video on how to do these goddess locks they are longer because i got a video on my channel already on how to do goddess locks but this is a diff i use a different technique and they are much longer so um if you want to see how i got these then keep watching okay so disregard the fact that i'm looking real busted out here in these streets um this is what this is how i like to do mine y'all know i always do well, if you watch any of my videos, let me not say y'all know. But I all I like to do any kind of goddess lock, faux lock, bohemian lock on old box braids. So these was my like gypsy bohemian style braids that I had in. So literally I just cut them like how I wanted them, like where I wanted them to be cut at. So they're kind of way longer than what I wanted them to be. So now I'm just doing the front ones a little bit shorter. Um, anyways, you take the braid. Now, this is a different method that I came up with. Not let me say came up with, but I mean, I haven't seen anybody do it, so I'm not trying to say that I invented it, but it's just what came to mind. Um, crocheting the piece at the end because I got the shorter hair this time, like it's literally this long. Like, it's not that long. So if I was to try to do it from the root and braid it down, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't be long enough. And if I would have got longer inches, it would have cost it more. So I was like, I'm just gonna get, it's cost effective. I'm just gonna get the 12 inch and then crochet it at the end. And it's a win-win. So take the, I'm sure everybody know how to crochet by now, but if you don't, take the crochet, um, latch hook, make sure it's open push it through still leaving it open and then you attach the hair close it pull it back through knot it knot it again boom and then just like that you feel me um, because I don't have the Cuban twist hair to like wrap because I ran out, so my boyfriend went out to get me some more. Um, I'm not gonna show the wrapping process right now. Like I'll, you know, I've just been crocheting the curly pieces on so that way when he come back, all I gotta do is like just start wrapping. So I'm just waiting on him to come back and then I'll show the wrapping process and all of that. I just wanted to do this right now in case I forget because I'm rushing and I have somewhere to be so I'm trying to really get this done. Um, and I didn't want to forget to show, you know, that technique because you don't necessarily have to like, if you got about, like, I'm a firm believer, I don't want to ramble, but I'm a firm believer in like getting the most out of everything. So do you some box sprays? wear those then when they get old turn them into full locks you feel me so yeah um i am gonna be back once he come back with my hair and then i'll start wrapping it let me do this now just in case i forget this is the hair that i used i used the cuban twist this time i didn't use the um marley hair i used the cuban twist and it kind of made it a little bit easier i'm not even gonna lie it made it a little bit easier um, because the hair was so thick that I didn't necessarily have to put that much work into wrapping because the hair is mad thick. Um, but yeah, I used three packs of this and then some Caribbean twists, which I didn't really like. But anyway, yeah, so I sent out my boyfriend to get two more packs. So hopefully them two packs will be enough and then that will be five packs. So, but of course, I'll let y'all know, you know, in my intro or outro or whatever. Um how much packs I've used in total. Um, and I got this in the color T27 slash 613. And then some of them are just like, this is T27 slash 613. And then this is just um, 27. Okay, so I'll just kind of mix them up. And then a curly hair that I used this time was um, the Model Model Glance Braid here, but this time I used it in Natural Deep. I don't really like this curl, but it was kind of like all that they had and I didn't want to go to a different beauty supply store because I'm loyal. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but yeah, I got it in the color 27. Yeah, I got it in the color 27. So that's what that looks like. That's what that looks like. Okay. And I got, oh, tried it. I got this Kiss Nail Glue. Okay. Of course, a crochet, latch hook, and scissors. So that's the things that you'll need. I probably should have said that first, right? Um, but I'll kind of like leave a note somewhere in the beginning. Okay, so I decided to voice over this part, but I got my hair. He came back and he came through with the hair. I love this Cuban to his hair. It's so good. But um, normally, like, one of the strands of the Cuban to his hair would be, like, just enough to wrap one full lock like if it was long but since the ones at the top I did a little bit shorter I cut it in half because they're not as long as the ones in the back so that's why I cut it in half because just that half would be good oh no I'm sorry I'm lying I actually changed my mind and decided to use the whole piece but you'll see like later on I end up having to cut it um but yeah, I'm just unraveling the each end first because it makes it easier to wrap. And now I'm just going to take it and wrap it. Like I told y'all, this wrapping technique is the same as like my last video. It's just that I crochet the hair in at the ends this time. But anyway, take the hair, make sure you like get it to the root tuck it and then wrap around it you see how like i'm wrapping around that piece that i originally tucked and i'm going to wrap around the root because my braids is old so i want to get the root nice and tight so that way they last because i'm doing this for miami so i want it to stay put but yeah you just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping it's pretty much the same like you just wrap and wrap and wrap and with this cuban twist here it's so much easier because it's so thick that you don't necessarily have to like make sure you covering up the braid while you wrapping because it's really thick so it's going to cover it up for you regardless i love this cuban twist here and i think i'm addicted and i'm never getting any other kind of hair to do my faux locks again and it gives that real nappy effect which i love that's what makes it look a, a little bit more gypsy to me but um yeah just keep on wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and like you see from my last video if you watched my last video but i did way more curl like i had way more curly hair out than normal um just because I wanted it to look a little bit more like goddess locky. I don't know. But yeah, you just keep wrapping. You keep wrapping. Like you see, like I said, that one piece is enough for like a full braid. And I'm already at the end, so I'm going to have to cut it. But I love this Cuban twist here. It's the best. Now I'm trying to wrap, I'm going to wrap over that because I don't want that blunt cut end of the braid to be out. So I'm going to wrap over that. This synthetic hair is so tangly, but whatever. Wrap over that and then I'm going to. Cut it <laughs> and then wrap the rest back upward and then glue it down and i use nail glue i don't know what the technique is that other people use but i use nail glue because it's clear and you can't really like see it i had to go and get my nail glue but it's clear you can't really see it so it's just perfect but yeah you just add the nail glue on and then seal it with your fingers and i don't know if it was because this was a different type of glue but it literally wasn't like messing my fingers up like last time it was piling up on my fingertips but this time it wasn't but yeah i like the nail glue because it's just like a, a more seamless look i feel you can't really tell so yeah that's pretty much it so this is the finished product Um, got my 
along and like I said I'm probably gonna add in some extra curly hair like right before I go to Miami because I don't want the curly hair to like get messed up so I'm just trying to pace myself you know um so when I do add the curly hair maybe I'll like make a video on that as well um but yeah thank you so much for watching I really 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 appreciate it give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel I mean why not just go on ahead and do it you know you want to it'll make me happy it'll make you happy because you contributed to my happiness i mean come on it's a win-win so yeah um enjoy the rest of your week and peace and bless